That's the apartment complex I lived in when I was born. Right here. Hayward, California. That's where we're at today. There it is. Just down here in Hayward, my hometown. Uh, no, no, you talk to me, man. Okay. It's all—it's just uncut video. There's no okay. no wrong or right way to do it. It's just we just do it. Um, so I wanted to tell, do a video for these folks um, because as most of them that watch the channel know, I you know I became Christian about nine months ago, eight, ten months yep. ago now. Congratulations! Thank you, man. And um, just since then, I mean, I put up the story, of course, of how I met you and Marlon, mm -hmm. the Freedom Breeder. Yep, that God moment. That God that was moment. Great. And and then now we got you here and, and Brian over there too. Yeah. Who I'm gonna make? Brian's gonna do a good part of this video because. Pastor Ray here has just been talking for like the last <laughs> two hours, like yes, his, his voice yes, powerful yes. speaking, man. But I just kind of wanted to do a little video about, you know, what it means to be a Christian mm -hmm. to you. Just because I think everybody out there that doesn't know what it is necessarily mm -hmm. has maybe different views of it. I don't even think of it as, as religion, personally. Right, right, right. I just think of it as, for me, it's a, a relationship with yes, God. Yes, yes. And, and just looking to Christ to lead you in your life and... Mm -hmm. and that's just basically it. Following it Jesus really is. Christ. I mean, for me, it that's really what is. it is. But you know, as much as as many of us uh, today can't live without our phones, right? I mean, if you try to walk through this world without a phone, you wouldn't know what to do. Many of us, right? Because we're so attached to that phones. It just really reminds me of the attachment that we need to have with Christ, right? Jesus is our is our strength. He's our everything. If you want to go somewhere and you need directions, what do you do? You get on GPS, right? And so Jesus is our GPS. He's our spiritual GPS that gives us directions to where we go. And whenever you get lost, your GPS reroutes you. And that's what God does for us. So just like what Brian said, our relationship with Christ is that. It's a relationship, right? We, we have a spiritual guide in our life now. We have a Lord. We have a Savior. I mean, he's so many things to me personally, right? He's my father, number one, because I didn't have a father growing up. My father and mother went to prison when I was a young age. And so for many years, I sought the attention and an accolade from other men. I wanted to be, I wanted to prove myself that I was a man until I found out that Jesus is a father to the fatherless. And so I've been adopted by God. So I have a dad now, you know, Jesus is my follower. He's not a statue that I pray to. He's not uh, a, a list of to do, you know, I'm able to check in with him every day. And he speaks to me as much as I speak to him. And so when I read my word, he tells me where to go. It's my direction. And when I get lost, as many times I do, he reroutes me right back to the path that he has for me. And that path is not the path that I used to be on, right? I grew up in San Francisco, uh, gangs and drugs and prison and all that. Like My path was broad and wide. And the Bible says it led to destruction, which it did. I lost many of my years out there chasing the things of this world. And now Jesus is my straight and narrow path. You know, it's one foot in front of the other. It's about being free every day. You know, you won't know freedom until you've been locked up before. And I always tell people, you don't have to go to jail, Brian, to be locked up. But many people are locked up in their minds and in their mm. hearts. Unforgiveness and hurt and bitterness and all these things has locked you up. But Jesus frees us from that. And so, you know, I remind myself of the first day that I stepped out of those cement walls. You know, 2004, and glory to God, it's been 18 years since I've been incarcerated. I've been saved over 16 years now. My wife and I stepped out in faith, started a church. And now, because we're saved, we serve. And because we were found, we help to reach and find others. So serving God is my spiritual direction of how to navigate through this life. And its destination is heaven, right? It's a whole nother world and experience that I will have one day. But while I'm here, I'm trying to bring as many people as I can to know the truth about Christ, right? One of my favorite scriptures, Brian, is in John 14, 6, where Jesus says, I am the way, the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that's what made Jesus so special is that nobody, nobody gets to the Father except through him. 
You know, today in my sermon, I talked about seeking and, and hiding and how many of us try to hide from God, but he's seeking us. And many of us think God is hiding from us. But guess what? He didn't hide. He revealed himself to us. He stepped down from heaven to come be human, flesh, blood, just like us, so that he can show us back to the way. I mean, I don't know no uh, spiritual, I don't know no GPS, uh, I don't know no Alexa that is going to leave that realm to come to this to show me the way. And so as he showed me the way, I helped show others. And I hope that you will find the way, the truth and the life. And that's through Jesus and Jesus alone. So being a Christian to me is about carrying my cross. It's not about wearing my cross. It's not about having the t-shirt. It's about knowing that he suffered, he died for me, but he rose for me too. And so when I go through this life, through hardships and sufferings, I'm not alone. Before I used to be alone. Now there's a hope and I know that God is with me, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And so I just really, really pray that you will open your heart and invite him in. He wants to come to your house. He wants to bring salvation to your house today because that's what he did to Zacchaeus. He said, I'm coming to your house, right? And Zacchaeus didn't hesitate. He welcomed him. He repented and said, Lord, be the Lord of my life. And that's exactly who Jesus is to me. It's a beautiful one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And so, hey, getting to meet this guy, God moment, man, out there in Turlock. I I look forward to see what God is going to do through you uh, and to you. And also the connection we have with Iowa and Hayward and where you're at. It's like it's all for this moment. See, this is the path that he puts us on. And when you're on that path, you start to meet other brothers and sisters who are on that path because we're all going somewhere together. And we're all striving for that pearly gate. We all want to hear those words at the end, right? Don't we? That's absolutely That's correct, it. Man. And so we need each other. We need each other, you know? And so, yep. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, thank you. Know, you know, I'm, I'm blessed you, you're here in Hayward. And absolutely, man. Look it's, forward to seeing you It's been crazy. I've been back here since I was like, you know, a kid, basically. Yeah, like, yeah. Walking around, just checking. Yeah, it's been awesome. Awesome. Thank you, man. It's beautiful. Yes, beautiful thank you, set. my brother. Thank, thank you. you, bro. Enjoy, huh? Good luck topping that, B. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no. guy, I'm just amazing. kidding. I'm just yeah. kidding. This guy Leave it amazing. to Ray to say, what, you wanted 10 minutes? I was thinking two, and then go for 10. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, yeah, you went about eight. He went about. Oh, it was eight. eight. Okay, well, he, he's keeping it right in the middle. <laughs> you, you guys didn't get to meet um, Brian Gator yet. He's got a great name. I know. We this is this is the special crew right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. This, this is Mar- special. Crew. This is Marlon. So you guys met Marley. We went to Marlon's house, checked out his blood pythons, and yep. Marlon came herping with Dave Kaufman and I on that other video. This this is Brian, Marlon's son, who is the lead pastor now at Iron Ridge Church. Yeah. And the best looking son. The best looking son. I, I was going to say that. I, just doesn't know how to play drums as well as the no, other exactly. son. No, exactly. Yeah, he's got drums, I got looks. I think it's fair trade. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you don't got the looks, you need the drums. No, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so you know the question already. You know, what does it mean to be a Christian for you? Well, uh, we were just talking about this actually a little bit ago uh, with somebody, and this idea of living life. So I think sometimes when people want this idea of what a Christian is. They look for the rules and the regulations and the stuff they're supposed to do. And there's nothing special to ministry uh, outside of living the life that you're living and then showcasing that with other people. And then they go, oh, you can speak to me on that. We were talking just a little bit ago about my struggle and my wife's struggle with uh, IVF, in vitro fertilization, trying to get pregnant, uh, you know, having troubles with that. And because of that, which seems like a total non-Christian thing, now we can speak into other people's lives who've been going through it too. And for anybody that thinks that, oh, I gotta have the seminary degree, I gotta have the Bible knowledge, I gotta have the, uh, the scripture memorized perfectly. No, you know, Jesus walked around, he told stories to people, interacted with them in their everyday life. And it's like, that's what we need to do. We need to live life, and then those who we encounter, we say, hey, this is what I'm doing, this is where I'm going, and this is how Christ is going through it with me. Uh, it's not about a secret formula. It's not about the best words or the best wisdom within that, but it's about showcasing what you're doing as you live with other people so they can go, oh, the way you're living that, I want to live it that way too. And that changes people. That's what it looks like to, to live like a Christian, is people seeing you exist through life like Christ wants you to live, even through the pain, even through the winds, and being able to have a joy and a perspective that other people desire. Because Christ gives that to me. And Christ gives that to you. Oh, yeah. And through that, that's when Christ shines through. Not because you said the right verses or you were able to preach the right words 
or uh, wear the Jesus shirts, but simply going through hell sometimes and being able to say, Christ got me through like this and he can do the same thing for you. And that's an, that's an incredible thing. I, the more I look into ministry, the more I realize that simply living the way Christ wants me to is my best witness to those who don't know who Christ is. So yeah, that's my short answer. I, you went long, I'll go short. That, that's, my, that's my short answer. No, it was, it was beautiful, B. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. um, it's been great to see you guys out here again. Yeah, and it's just... been great to get to know you too. You know, you're in, a, you're in an incredible place. And uh, as we've witnessed, you know, some of the experiences that you've been going through and relationship you have with Marlon and now with the church and with people out here, it's like, I see you living that way already. Is this, I'm a Christian, but my life continues the way it is and God showcases himself through it. That's an incredible way to live. Amen, amen. Dude, <laughs> I, I, I hope you guys are inspired by these guys. I, they inspire the crap out of me. I mean, they, I couldn't imagine two better dudes to have asked that question to and just get the feedback. I mean, I'm going to watch this back later probably like tw- 10 times just like, yes, that's what I want. To- <laughs> that's, that's the question. I want to a joke now or something? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, We're just right. out. You guys have yourselves great. I hope that this <laughs> okay. w- what was said here today really hit you in your heart. And uh, we love you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha. See you.